Hey guys, Matt Greer here. I am actually in a new construction home by Lennar. This is the Revolution Plan at Bell Rose in Gilbert. And what is so cool about this home is that it has the next gen suite, which presents a very unique opportunity for new investors who maybe don't have as much money to invest in real estate, but want to do a house hack, okay? Now, if you don't know what a house hack is, what that is, is that's when you buy a house and you rent part of it out. Now, what I like about this strategy is it's got a very low barrier to entry and you have somewhere to live, which is important, and you're able to make rental income. Now, what I like about the Lennar Next Gen is that you have, like for example, on this one, the, uh, the Revolution, you have a three bed, two bath home, but then you have the Next Gen suite, which is its own section of the house, okay? And it's one bed, one bath, it's got a full kitchen, it's got its own laundry, so you don't have to worry about the tenant coming in and sharing the space with you. Now, a lot of people, what they do, I'm gonna come sit down over here. A lot of people, what they'll do is when they go to house hack, they will just go ahead and buy a house, renovate it, and then go ahead and live in it. And that's a great way to get a house for not a lot of money, especially if you can purchase it and renovate it for less than what it's worth. But not everyone has the money to do that right off the bat. And so that's why I like this. Because what this is, is being that it's a new construction, the home is completely built. It's ready to go. But the other thing right now is Lennar has an excess in inventory. Okay. Now, as a buyer, that's a great thing. Because what that means is they have these homes and they need to sell them. Because just like when a bank forecloses on a home, they're not in the business of owning that home. Same with builders. They are not in the business of owning homes. They're in the business of making homes and selling them. Well, right now, Lennar has an excess in inventory. So because of that, you've probably seen headlines where they're talking about selling off just massive amounts of homes to investors. But also, in these individual neighborhoods, what they're doing is they're taking their homes that they have that they didn't sell. A lot of times what happened, especially recently, is someone ordered a house to be built, interest rates went up, and they can no longer afford the payment. So because of that, they've got all these houses. Well, if you want, you can buy one of those houses that's already done, that doesn't have an owner, and they'll give it to you at a nice discount. Plus on top of that, they keep on offering different incentives for financing. They offer to help with closing costs. Really the, the incentives, they're great. They're changing all the time. Reach out, I'd be happy to give you an update on what they have as well as what inventory they have. Well, what I like is it gives you an opportunity to buy a brand new home for significantly less than it normally would cost. And this one, being that it's a next gen, creates that little extra opportunity for you to make some extra income. So let me just show you real quick this house. I'm gonna do an actual full tour as well, which I'll put at the end of this video. But let me just give you a quick tour so that you can see what I'm talking about when I say that this would be a great house hack opportunity. So. This is the main home, absolutely beautiful. Before we go to the kitchen, let me just show you. You got the master bedroom over here. Also just beautiful. And this is a really quick showing you guys what there is in here. I'm gonna do a full tour, but great home, three bed, two bath. And I mean, this is plenty of home for, you know, family. But then you've got this right here, this next gen suite. Now, right now, being that this is a model, and it even says right there, glass doors for display only, doors will match other interior doors, okay? When you buy the home, they swap these out. You see this on a lot of new construction models where they have either no door or a clear door. That's just to create a feeling of space. It's actually a sales technique they use, all right? But now we're in the next gen suite. So what you could easily do is just lock that door. Okay, if you don't wanna be sharing the space with people, you don't want them coming into your house and they don't want you coming into their section, just lock it, okay? Get one of these locks on each side, you need a key, they're not gonna be coming in. But let's just go into this next gen suite. What I absolutely love about it is you've got the full kitchen, okay? You don't have to share anything. You can have tenants that you just don't really have to talk to. <laughs> Some landlords, that's absolutely what they want when they're house hacking. Other people house hack and they're renting out a bedroom and they've got those people constantly sharing with them. 
They've even got their own laundry right there. Now this one, the Revolution model, hooks right up to the garage. Uh, they have one entry there, as well as the entry to the main home. But then they've also got this other entry over here. Now this takes them to their own little section of the yard. I like how on this model they put the little gate there, um, which that's actually because there is a swimming pool, but just more ideas. If you get one of these, you can put a gate there, give them their own little section. There's the gate to get to the front of the house. So basically they can come through that gate and then they've got the entryway to their own home. Now let's just take a quick look at everything they get in this one, right? I've got this big room right here. And then they've got their bedroom, okay? So this is like a nice one bedroom apartment that's attached to the home. It's completely separate. And what I like about it is that it's brand new. So now that we're in here, let's talk about some of the benefits of it being brand new. First one being, you're not gonna have to worry about capital expenses. I mean, you see, this is a brand new home, okay? Capital expenses are those things that you have to do to a home every few years. Like every so often you gotta buy a new roof. You just gotta replace it. The old one's gonna leak. Uh, you might have to update the flooring, maybe do a major kitchen renovation, bathroom renovation. Those are things that just come with time. This home's brand new. So most of those expenses, you're not gonna have to worry about for maybe 10 years or longer. As far as repairs go, repairs, something that every landlord has to deal with. And that's just where something breaks, okay? Happens, it can happen to new homes, it can happen to old homes, happen to all of them. You know, maybe your tenant breaks something or maybe something just goes wrong. Well, once again, everything's brand new. So the chances of that happening aren't that high in the beginning. They are still there, but not as high. It's one thing I really like. Now, the other thing, and I talked about this, and those are the investors who house hack homes that are just tore up from the floor up. They go in, they buy it cheap, they fix it cheap, and then they live in it. Problem with that is that can require a lot of money up front. If you don't have that, this is another good option. True, being a new construction, it will cost you more probably, even though they have those really good deals. But with those good deals and with what you can get with normal conventional financing, right? You can buy a new home for as little as 3% down. So this has a much lower barrier to entry than going in and renovating something. And you have a whole home and you can rent part of it out, get some of your money back. I absolutely love that. I think this is a great opportunity for someone who wants to have additional income to offset their current mortgage, but doesn't have the money right now to just go flip a house. Now, the other thing that I do wanna bring up that you would need to just work out with your tenant is you only have one address, okay? If you were to go buy a duplex, you have two addresses, right? You might have an A and a B, you have two mailboxes. This does not, it's got one. So you'd wanna have some sort of agreement, something with your tenant, letting them know like, hey, I'll go get the mail, I'll leave it in a box for you. Just something like that. Something that works that you're both okay with. Uh, the other thing about that is when you go to apply for your mortgage, okay? If you have a duplex and someone's renting the other section out, you can count that lease as income. With this only having one address, they're gonna be a border, okay? So their income's gonna act or the income from that rent is gonna be counted differently. It's not gonna be as useful as if they were leasing somewhere with a separate um, address. But at the end of the day, you're still collecting that rent. And so that's what I absolutely love about this home. And the nice thing about that is they don't really allow duplexes in this area, okay? I'm in Gilbert, this is Bellrose. Not everywhere allows duplexes, but they'll allow these. And it is pretty close. I mean, it does the same thing. It's just the legal description is different. So I really like this. It's a good way to work around when you have somewhere where you can't have a duplex, but Lennar is building these. Hop on them, go grab one. If you're here in the Phoenix area, let me know. Like I said, I have these guys sending me emails all the time. I speak with them quite a bit because I'm here all the time. I mean, I was just here today and I saw this and was like, what a great opportunity. Um, but they're, they're constantly updating me on the inventory they have, the inventory they're discounting, as well as their special financing. So if you're interested, 
give me a call. I'll put my phone number in the description as well as I'll put my email and my uh, website address. You can reach out. I'd be happy to help you out, let you know what there is available. There are some other builders that do some similar stuff. Uh, for example, I've seen on Toll Brothers, I'm trying to think of the neighborhood, I'm going back to the main house. Um, they had one house where, actually I've seen like three of theirs, where they had like a casita. But the problem with the casita was it didn't have its own kitchen, right? It was just a bedroom with a bathroom, that was it. So they were still gonna be sharing the, the house. The other thing too is, those homes were over a million dollars, which typically you're not looking to house hack that. But this right here, this home, let me tell you, this one being the model, it's got a couple of up upgrades on it. It's got a few upgrades. Uh, it's got a base price of 582,990. Uh, but this one with everything you see here is 623,990. Now, as far as ready to go models, got the paper here let me just see they have one of these for 625 ready in February let's see what else they got got another one ready in January for 623 so you can see they've got some pretty good prices and then they've got the uh ooh, the Trillium the Trillium is another uh next gen model by Lennar it's really cool what I like about the Trillium so you have two entryways, uh, one for the next gen and one for the main home, right in like the main courtyard where you walk up to the house or the foyer. I uh, really like that, really like that style. Uh, that home does cost a little bit more than this one, the Revolution though. But these are great options. If you wanna get the house or you know, maybe you have a growing family and you just don't need that space yet, rent it out once you need it, go ahead and start using it yourself. Anyways. Let me know if you're interested. Give me a call, text, whatever. I'm happy to help. Thanks, guys. Bye.